Hello folks, so in today's video we are going to take a look at this portable gas stove. Uh, so the one that I have here is manufactured by Hans and uh, I got it for around 2000 or 2500 rupees uh, on Amazon. So it's a pretty good device and I use this frequently on my uh, hiking adventures and even when I'm going outdoors with family. Uh, so this thing is very handy when you have to cook small amounts of food. So let's begin with the features first and uh, then I will also talk about the safety instructions. Uh, so feature wise as you can see you get this nice little carrying case uh, which and the size is pretty good so I mean this even fits my backpack so it's easy to carry and uh, yeah about the safety in instructions uh, you are not supposed to use this in closed environments. So that's the reason why you can hear a lot of background noise uh, right now uh, because I'm standing in my balcony as I have to demo this thing and uh, yeah there are some fumes that get released after burning butane which are not safe so uh, basically you need to use this outdoors only. Okay so let's pull this out I'll keep the case away for a while. So let's see what we've got. Uh, here are some details about the customer care numbers and the other things. And uh, here's the safety mechanism they have in place. So this is basically to lock the fuel can or unlock it. Uh, we'll come to that later. And uh, this is the ignition knob. So for, I mean as the input we have this butane gas can canister in here. So this one again is manufactured by hands. And the way we place it is, uh, there's a little notch like thing that you can see over here. So this needs to be pointing up. And then you place it in here and then it clips on. And uh, yeah, while storing it, you need to place this uh, upside down. But uh, basically, when you're using it, you turn it around, and only then you can engage the fuel lock. So, uh, currently, I've engaged the fuel lock, so uh, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and ignite this cast off. So it has an auto ignition feature so you don't need to carry lighters and stuff. And uh, basically with this knob you can control uh, the fumes, I mean the, uh, the heat of the stuff. Okay, so to demonstrate more, I'll just quickly go and get uh, a pan full of water and uh, we'll try boiling that. Alright, so here's my pan filled with water. And uh, regarding the safety instructions again, so uh, I would highly recommend you to go through the safety guide that comes along with this uh, device. But uh, another important note here is to ensure that the pan size is not very huge and it should not come above this container because uh, if this can is exposed to excessive heat then there are chances of uh, things going wrong. So just, just ensure that uh, the pan is small in size. Alright, so let's give it a while and uh, yeah, I'll pause the video for now, we'll check how quickly the water boils. So it's been around 2 minutes and uh, the water has already started to boil. So I think this device is doing its job pretty well. And uh, we're pretty much done with uh, the demo part. So I will turn off the gas for now and uh, we'll keep this pan away. And uh, regarding the packing instructions, I'm going to have to wait because uh, 
this top gets a bit hot so i'll wait for a few minutes maybe five or ten until this cools down and uh, then i will show you how to pack this up and put it in the box all right so this thing has cooled down and uh, now we can begin with the packing process so uh, what i'm gonna do here is uh, basically uh, the fuel is in the lock position so we'll move it to unlock and uh, so this thing is disengaged at right now and then we can flip this and keep it upside down i mean that's how it needs to be placed while packing it back and we'll get the box on the table again and yeah so basically this thing fits in here and then we just slides the locks back in place all right so that was a small video explaining the features of a portable gas stove and uh, we also covered how to use this uh, particular stuff so on the safety part again i would like to emphasize that you need to use this only in ventilated spaces uh, when you're using butane gas canisters so just keep that in mind and yeah uh, the link to purchase this is provided in the description section below so if you need to buy this uh, go down and click on the link that's provided in the description and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you